Can the J-10 a fighter be rejuvenated through modification to become China's version of the wild weasel? air defense and suppression weapon in the face of increasingly complex air defense threats in modern wars how to transform more than 300 j10 a medium-sized fighters into professional air defense and suppression platforms at the lowest cost in the process of promoting the transformation of the chinese air force into an offensive defensive and preparedness has become a strategic issue worthy of in-depth discussion this idea is not only related to the improvement of the effectiveness of the active equipment but also involves the construction of the core combat capability of china's air force in the era of electromagnetic spectrum warfare the su-30 mkk jh 7 and j-16 in service with the chinese air force have air defense suppression capability but there are obvious limitations. Although the J-7A can mount four anti-radiation missiles, its mobility is insufficient and it lacks the ability to defend itself in air combat. Although the heavy fighter has an advantageous payload, it is faced with the heavy task of striking the sea in the ground. In contrast, the J-10A, as a medium-sized fighter of the same class as the F-16C, has eight tons of ammunition capacity and nine external mounting points and can still maintain the supersonic breakout capability of Mach 0.9 after mounting 2x 600 kg Hawk 91 anti-radiation missiles, 2x fighting missiles, and an electronic pod. Its aerodynamic layout is highly similar to that of the F-16CJ, Wild Weasel, and the service of the domestically produced CM-102 new anti-radiation missiles has completely solved the defect of the traditional Hawk 91, which is too large and has insufficient range. The core of the air defense suppression system lies in the closed-loop capability of electronic reconnaissance and quick strike. The J-10A modification program consists of three key upgrades. Firstly, the K-JDC-1 optoelectronic targeting pod is equipped to achieve precise positioning of radar signals 50 kilometers away. Secondly, the KL-700 a self-defense jamming pod is integrated to form an area of electromagnetic suppression. And lastly, the formation level situational awareness network is constructed through a data link. This system enables the J10A to identify Patriot radar signals 100 kilometers away and automatically calculate the launch parameters through the avionics system to achieve the combat effectiveness of destroy on discovery. Compared with the US F 16CJ, which requires an a SQ 213 pods to assist in positioning. China's new integrated electronic warfare system improves positioning accuracy to 1 mil and shortens response time to 6 seconds. The technological breakthrough of anti-radiation missiles provides a material basis for the modification. CM-102 adopts broadband digital frequency storage technology, with a guide head covering the whole frequency band of 218GHZ, which can simultaneously track 16 radiation sources and implement intelligent threat sequencing. Its millimeter wave, Passive radar composite guidance mode can still rely on inertial navigation, plus terrain matching to continue the attack after the target radar is switched off. The bomb is equipped with 80 kilograms of high-explosive prefabricated fragments, kill radius of 15 meters, with Mach 3.5 breakout speed. The Aegis system of AN spy-1 radar constitutes a lethal threat. Compared with the U.S. made a GM-88 EHAM missile, the CM-102, has a 40% increase in range to 120 kilometers and can launch an attack outside the intercepting range of the S-400 air defense systems 4-0 and 6-E missiles. In terms of operational formation, the 4J-10 air defense and suppression units can form a three-dimensional electromagnetic kill chain. The long aircraft carries KG-800 electronic reconnaissance pods for wide area reconnaissance. The NO-2 aircraft is mounted with KG-600 jamming pods for soft kills and each of the number 3 and number 4 aircraft is mounted with 4 CM-102s to carry out hard destructions. This configuration allows a single strike to suppress 32 radar targets in a 400x 300 km area, and when combined with the J-160 electronic warfare aircraft, the suppression efficiency is increased by 300%. Historical experience shows that the F-4G Wild Weasel destroyed 1.2 radar targets per sortie in the Gulf War, while the J-10A, with more advanced sensors and missiles, can theoretically destroy up to 2.5 radar targets per sortie. Cost performance analyses show that the cost of modifying the J-10A is only one-third of the cost of procuring the J-160. 
but it frees up heavy fighter capacity for strategic strike missions. Among the existing 330J10As, about 240 are suitable for conversion to air defense and suppression, each retaining its air combat capability while adding four dedicated mounting points. This, multifunctional, capability is far beyond the limitations of the US F-16CJ which needs to be dismantled to carry out air combat missions. When deployed along the southeastern coast, the modified fleet can launch 960 anti-radiation missiles in the first wave of the assault, theoretically perilousing 200% of the existing 476 air defense radar nodes on the island of Taiwan, and opening up an absolutely safe electromagnetic corridor for the subsequent attacking fleet. The strategic value of this program not only lies in the reuse of equipment, but also promotes the innovation of the tactical system of the Air Force. The J-10 a fleet can build a closed loop of detect disturb fight evaluate killing chain by cooperating with Air Marshal 500 AWACS and attack 11 UAVs. Exercise data show that the success rate of J-10 a formation equipped with CM-102 against Red Flag 9B positions increased from 37% of traditional tactics to 89% and its own battle loss rate decreased from 1%. 1.2 to 1. 0.3. This transformation is in line with the modern air combat concept of tactical aircraft to deal with area denial and accumulates electromagnetic combat experience for the subsequent development of the sixth generation aircraft, which is a key transformation of the Chinese Air Force into a strategic air force. This transformation is not only in line with the modern air warfare concept of responding to area denial with tactical aircraft, but also accumulates electromagnetic combat experience for the subsequent development of the sixth generation aircraft. At the level of specific technical realization, the avionics system of J-10 adopts modular design concept. The original 1473 pulse Doppler radar has been replaced with a new passive phased array antenna, which does not actively emit electromagnetic waves, but has a 0.1 degrees level of direction measurement accuracy. The cockpit has been upgraded to three 8 times 10 inch multifunctional displays, integrated with a three dimensional visualization system for electronic warfare posture, which allows pilots to visually see the spectral characteristics, threat level, and trajectory of the electromagnetic radiation sources within a radius of 200 kilometers. The specially developed electromagnetic fingerprint library contains 126 types of typical air defense radar parameters, which can automatically identify specific targets such as Patriot AN, MPQ-53 and S300V9, S32 irradiation radar. The breakthrough progress of the airborne electronic warfare system is especially critical. KL700 a jamming pod adopts gallium nitride T, our components, with an effective radiated power of 9.8 dBm which can form an electromagnetic fog zone with a diameter of 80 kilometers from 300 kilometers away. Its innovative, Spectrum Gorilla, tactics can be l to coup band radar precision jamming, C-band fire control radar blocking jamming, S-band early warning radar dexterity noise jamming, X-band missile guides to take the coherent interference. Compared with earlier electronic warfare equipment, the system compresses radar positioning time from 15 seconds to 3.8 seconds and reduces false alarm rate to 0.3 times hour. In terms of combat formation, the typical air defense suppression mission adopts the double four aircraft coordination mode. The first echelon of 4J10 a carry CM102 to carry out hard kills, while the second echelon of four carries KG600B jamming pods to carry out electromagnetic blocking. In the 2021 Ju Rai confrontation exercise, this combination successfully paralyzed an air defense network consisting of six sets of Red Flag 22S and eight sets of Land Shield 2000s in 15 minutes, with the loss of only one of its own fighters. Compared with the U.S. Army's Wild Weasel tactic, China innovatively introduced the drone forward deception mechanism. The Attack 11 stealth drone carrying L band corner reflector simulated the signal of the heavy fighter inducing the enemy radar to turn on at a rate of 87%, which is 41 percentage points higher than the traditional tactic. The adaptive modification of the logistics support system is equally important. Each modified J10 is equipped with a special rapid inspection square pod, which can complete the health status inspection of the electromagnetic system of the whole aircraft within 25 minutes at the field airfield. CM-102 missiles adopt modular guide head design, 
and it takes only 17 minutes for the frontline maintenance personnel to complete the adjustment of frequency coverage and adapt to the needs of different battlefield environments. This agile safeguard capability has increased the daily sortie of a single aircraft from 1.2 to 2.5, reaching the combat tempo standard of F-35A. Facing the future battlefield environment, the upgrade roadmap of J-10A air defense suppression type has been clearly defined in three phases. 240 in-service aircraft modifications are completed before 2025 to form a regional electromagnetic superiority capability. A quantum radar warning system is integrated before 2030 to achieve photon-level electromagnetic situational awareness, and a hypersonic anti-radiation missile is paired with it. In 2035, which compresses the response time of the strike chain to 90 seconds. This progressive development model not only avoids the risk of technological adventurism, but also ensures generational complementarity with fifth-generation aircraft such as the J-20 and J-35. When the transformation of 330 J-10As is completed, the Chinese Air Force will have the world's largest and most complete air defense and suppression force, with a single day's anti-radiation missile projection, up to 3,960 equivalent to 202% of the total projection of the U.S. military in the Gulf War, thus truly realizing the leapfrog development of quantitative change triggering qualitative change.